Good morning, everybody. Just for you to do a little video blog here uh, instead of just kind of typing uh, for a whole long time. I would just uh, kind of say it all. Yeah. So uh, this Friday, I'm having a little. Uh, I will see you guys all later party uh, at my place, Bar and Grill. Can't really uh, say that I'll be in town too much longer after this weekend if everything goes well. Um, as uh, you know, the time that I'm going to be leaving gets closer and closer. I'm getting a little bit more excited, a little bit more excited, and uh, you know, I'm not saying this is going to be it's going to be easy. You know, don't don't think that I, I don't think this is going to be uh, you know kind of a, a, a crazy undertaking. You know, I'm not in excellent shape, but you know, when it comes down to it, that there's no schedule to any of this. You know, and, and uh, I, I can do and do things at my own pace, and I can I can stop here and there as I see fit. You know the uh, it's pretty much whenever I get to Florida, I get to Florida. You know, and if something if I if I run out of money halfway there, and I gotta you know wash some dishes someplace or or, or you know I'm a people person. You know I, I'm I'm pretty sure that regardless of how this goes you know when it one way or the other I'm gonna I'm gonna survive it and uh, and I get to Florida just fine and uh, you know a big part of this 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 whole just getting back to the whole wandering you know just sometimes you I don't know I guess my whole life you know I just kind of uh, my my adult life since I've been in control of it, you know, I've really just kind of thrown myself into different situations without really thinking too much about it and just kind of doing what I felt was right at the time, even though a lot of people may not have understood. You know, when I went to Yellowstone, well, hell, when I went to Petoskey, you know, a couple of years after I graduated, I went there for a week. Uh, well, that was a, a week. Uh, and in that week, I found myself a, a girlfriend, a job, and a place to stay. Uh, and then I stayed long enough, uh, as long as it takes, basically, to, to lose a girlfriend, a job, and a place to stay. Uh, well, not only that, but the snow was starting to come down in Petoskey. And uh, I tell you what, you know, when it, I, I'm just not a, I'm not a cold weather person. Uh, so I came back home. But then Yellowstone, too. You know, I, I, I met somebody who had been out that way, and struck up a friendship with her and then and, and she had uh, and mentioned uh, you know she mentioned the, going out to Yellowstone and some friends of hers were doing this and the, she was she was gonna go work there for the summer and it just it spurred in me some kind of crazy wonderlust you know that was just like wow oh, I want to do that you know and it was that was really a last minute decision too you know just uh, just decided all right let's do it and just kind of made it work you know I mean and granted, there's, there's, there has been some planning that's been involved in all of this. I mean, you know, I've at least thought as far ahead to, to make sure that you know I've got some, some kind of arrangements down in Florida, which uh, my friend Greg Labelle has been extremely, extremely nice. You know, I mean, he's allowing me to come down there and stay with him, and he's gonna get me a job uh, if everything goes well, and you know. Uh, I'm looking forward to that, you know, I'm really looking forward to just kind of being the new kid in town again, I guess. And I, I guess here, too, part of it is just, you know, you know, I was talking to a, my brother and my friend Tom yesterday, and Tom asked me, you know, what's the, what's the, what's behind all this, you know, what's, he says, you know, if I were to take off to Arizona tomorrow, you know, and just pack up all my things, everybody would ask me why, and, that's what I'm doing with you, you know, why? And I guess there's a couple answers to that. Uh, you know, the first answer is, of course, that I just, you know, I, I got a need and, and an urge in me to kind of bounce around from place to place. And I guess that was kind of ingrained in me uh, growing up. You know, I was in, in six different school districts growing up before I even got to, to wind that, you know. So I, I was the new kid quite a bit, 
and it's it, I, it didn't it didn't bother me, you know. In, in all honesty, it, I liked it. So I feel like you know this is just kind of getting back to that too, in a natural, in, in one sense, you know. And uh, another part of it is you know like I'm just sick of the game, you know, the game, you know that's you know work all the time and still be broke because you know you're paying for all these things that. Supposedly, you need, you need, uh, you know, and and I guess I can see that in that tone of voice because I am fortunate enough to, you know, be in a position where where I can actually do things like this. Um, I always told myself that when Austin got old enough, that I was gonna, I was gonna get back out there and start doing what really made me feel alive, which was. You know, traveling a little bit and being in new places and getting that feeling of being someplace for the first time, you know, and, and you know, there's a lot of places around here, I guess, that, you know, I, I haven't been to, and you know, but I've been to a lot of them, and when it comes just down to it, you know, I just, like I said, I work, I work all the time, or I work as so much as I can, and... I don't make very much money. I work hard labor. A job that is not that great. You know, the only thing great about it is that my friends that I work with. The job itself really sucks. You know, I don't get paid shit. As a matter of fact, I get paid less than everybody else I work with. Uh, and it's been that way for a little while now. And, you know, I don't feel as though you should have to ask for a raise. You know, if you. You work hard enough, people, you know, and that's another thing, man. I get back to the thing of all the things that we try to tell our children when they're young, you know, that hard work pays off, and, you know, I kind of just wonder if we're, we're not really just, we're lying to them. Either that or, or, or we're just trying to fill them with so much optimism that maybe they would change the world that it is we live in by the time that they get to be our age. And maybe one generation will finally hold on to all the things that we tell them as children as far as, you know, honesty is a good thing and and the hard work pays off and honesty is is good and that people get what they deserve and but none of that's the case you know you get into the real world and everything's just the opposite of, I mean we don't we don't really prepare our children I mean maybe that's a big part of this too is that you know people I guess we want to believe the things we tell our children. We want to believe that these things are all true. You know, we want to believe that it's a good world. And there's good people in the world. There's a fucking fly. Ah, fucking kill it. Fucking fly. I'm gonna kill that fly right after I'm done taking this video. Fucking swear to motherfucker. Like Mr. Me fucking Miyagi, that's what I'm gonna fucking do. Oh, motherfucker. Anyway. So, yeah. Anyway, the fucking fly pissed me off. And now I'm like, right. So. I guess. You know, I gotta. I, gotta, I guess I got this is uh, for a lot of the reasons and a lot of the things I'm hoping to get out of this I guess I'm, I'm hoping to satisfy my own wanderlust hoping to get out into the world with next to nothing and I want to convince myself that the world's a good place you know there's good people out there but unfortunately the good people don't really run things 
seems like we we the good people have kind of given up control it seems like all the people that are in control are, are just not good people so I figure that you know I'm gonna try to find some some optimism in the world try to show myself that you know, I know there's good people out there. I know that the world is the majority of people in the world are good people. But you can't help but to think, you know, shame on the good people for letting the bad people do this. You know, look turn on the fucking news. Just any fucking channel. And you can't tell me that this is the world that we try to tell our children about, you know. I mean, I told my brother yesterday, you know, I, I hate the world. I hate it. He says, well, who doesn't? And I, I said, yeah, but I, I really hate it. You know, all the things that the world sees as good things, I'm fundamentally against. You know, I, I, I hate the concept of profit. Profit is, is, is literally just taking advantage of somebody for, for money. You know, it's, it's, I don't like that. I don't, I don't like that one bit. Because the, the concept is, of profit is, is what inspires the entire world, you know? Like, what can I get? And then how much can I sell it for? You know, how much am I worth? You know, monetarily wise. And it's got nothing to do, and when you've got that mentality and it's all about success, then it is a dog-eat-dog -dog world. And, you know, none of, the, the, none of the, the rules of childhood, you know, like sharing and honesty, none of these things are rewarded in, in the real world. That's a damn shame, man, you know, and it's because of the rules that we set around ourselves, you know, the, the, the rules of this monetarily based economy. And because that's what it's all about, you know, get as much as you can, as much, much things as you can, because, you know, things matter. But, you know, Things probably don't matter. Well, yeah, some things make our lives easier, you know, and some things, you know, give us all this fluff around us, you know, that make our lives seem so, so special and so filled and so content, and we just we fill every space in our life with something. You know, look around here, I see all these things that don't mean a goddamn thing. Yeah, I really went off there for a little while, so. Uh, so, yeah, I guess, I'm not, like I said, I'm just, I'm sick of trying to live by the rules that a society that I don't even agree with has, has put down. You know, I, I feel like I'm a, I'm a circle that's been trying to fit into a square peg my whole life. You know, I look at the world and I just don't see how, you know, there's a saying, they're not a saying, it's, it's a lyric uh, in a Tool song, and it always struck a chord with me. It's a great song, actually. Uh, but the line goes, uh, how can this mean anything to me? when they don't see a thing at all. They don't feel a thing at all, anyway. I've often thought that way about the entire world. Like, how is it that I, apparently, am the only one so, 
so upset with. I mean, you know what, mate? I'm not the only one. I'm just the only one that's. I'm not the only one. I'm just. I just voice my opinion a lot and throw it out there a lot. That's all. But I know there's, you know, there's a lot of us out there. I feel the same way. And so, you know, I just say, hey, man, I'll do my own thing. I'll try to try to make my own rules, see if that works, because me trying to live through these rules ain't working. So I'm just going to, you know, life is what you make it. And I'm going to make my own life. So keep your fingers crossed that that goes well for me. <laughs> All right, whatever. Um, long enough. Have a great day. Talk to you later. Peace.